Pua. Pua. Hey guys, it's Flux here, and this is a quick tutorial on how to install custom scenery for RCT3. Uh, I got a lot of requests for this one, so I decided to do a little quick video to um, explain it. So let's go to RCT Go. This is my favorite site, but obviously you can go to wherever you want. Uh, I also recommend Shy Guys World, and also a great place for custom scenery, but uh, this has a big selection, so we'll go here. Uh, custom scenery, and um, I'm looking for Moby Steel Jungle. I believe it's on page 4 here. Here we go. This is a great set, by the way, if you are looking for custom scenery. This is an awesome, awesome custom support set, so I'd recommend that one to anybody. So we'll go here to show, and here is our thing in the downloads folder. We'll copy it and paste it onto our desktop right here. And from there, we can open it up with WinRAR. I'm using WinRAR for this, by the way. Um, WinRAR is an archiver thing, so you can open up things, these zip folders here. If you don't have WinRAR or 7-Zip, I would recommend getting one of them. I'll link that in the description as well as RTD Go if you need to find either of those two things. They're both obviously, well, free. I mean, obviously the website is, but um, they're both free. So uh, download those before you do this. It um, makes it easier. Actually, I don't even know if you can do this without WinRAR. Anyway, um, now we have this folder here. This is the um, the proper one anyway. Usually they only have one. This one looks like it has like a Mac OS version, I think. Um, but here's the original one, so I'm going to grab this one and drag it on out here. This is very important. If you try and just drag the zip folder in there, it'll mess it up. So I recommend pulling it out first. Let's delete this thing now. Now we're going to go to my computer, main hard drive, program files. I'm on a 64-bit Windows um, computer, but you may be on a 32-bit, in which case you'll have to use the program files instead. But I use the program files 86. Now we're going to go to Atari, Rogue Second 3, down here there is style and themed and this is it this is the folder that holds all of your custom scenery so you're gonna want to open this thing up and grab your custom scenery I already have this one installed so I'm not gonna drag it in here but you would just drag it right on into this area here and that will work so now let's go over to the actual game and I'll show you guys what it looks like in game alright here we are in the game um, now if you're looking for your custom scenery you want to go to the scenery objects and now um, when you're looking for it, you will notice that uh, it is actually up to the scenery creator to decide where to put this thing, so it's going to be kind of random. I can tell you from experience that it's usually in the wall section or the scenery item section, although sometimes it'll be in like trees or fences if it's something weird, like foliage or something. Um, but uh, for, in our case, it is in the wall section. Now, if you're looking in the scenery item section, it is usually a good idea to uncheck everything except for generic, because usually... Uh, everything is under generic, although I could be wrong. Sometimes there's some weird sets that are in like adventure or something, but usually they're in generic. So you can see right now I already got custom series installed here. We're gonna scroll on down to our um, Moby Steel Jungle. I actually have all three versions here, but this is basically it. You can see right here I got one of these pieces. I'm gonna grab one of these and show you guys real quick. For those of you not familiar, Custom Scenery is awesome because it actually does no clip, so you can place it, you know, anywhere you want, and you can also place it on places like right directly on top of um, things like roads and basically anywhere. It'll let you place it wherever you want inside, like entrances and even back in places you don't even own. Although you can't put it back here, but you can place it on these little areas too. Although I will warn you, if you place it here, it's kind of hard to delete them sometimes. Um, looks like that one worked fine, but if you place things like uh, path covers in these back areas, they are a bit hard to delete for some reason, and won't you do it, it'll tell you you're like off the land or something, so be careful of that, but other than that, these things are great for basically anything, um, especially supports and stuff, but um, yeah, that's it, so hope you guys enjoyed this one, leave your comments down below for any more tutorials you need for Tycoon 3 or anything else, I'm trying to kind of stock my channel up with tutorial videos, so um, yeah, leave your comments down below, and as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.